Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Well, in case you didn't know, the mainstream media is the number one enemy to humanity at the moment. You see all those queues in the UK for petrol created by the media. Fear mongering. You see the twisted biased reporting regarding the jab? It's the media. You see the jabbed and the unjabbed turning against each other? It's whipped up and created and stimulated by the mainstream media. Nobody would give the politicians the time of day if it wasn't amplified through the lens of the media. So anyway, look, I've got two reports. This first one, which is an absolute joke, and then another from Australia. The first one is just another example of the never-ending desperate attempt to create fear out of everything. These media muck spreaders who are obviously under instruction to do so, to continue this fear propaganda, on account of, you know, they're trying to control us. I mean, why? Because, I mean, look, there are many things that motivate us, but the most powerful motivator of all is fear. Fear is a primal instinct that we have had since we've been hanging out in caves, and it still serves us today. It keeps us alive. It's primitive. It's hardwired into us. That's why marketers use... Uh, fear as a motivator all the time to sell us things, to get us to buy into stuff, buy into ideas. They present a scenario that invokes fear and then re we react. We become more susceptible to influence when there is a uh, fear. Now, when fear, when the threat is real, then it's understandable. But when it's exaggerated and artificially created or stimulated, it's done and it's deliberately done to invoke reactions and responses in order to control people, then that is very, very wrong. And what we see and what we are seeing in the media is a non-stop parade of fear-mongering at this moment. We've had recently CO2 chaos, no turkey for Christmas, food shortages, the Taliban, Afghanistan thing, lorry drivers getting pinged, more shortages, Gas prices are going to rise. Electricity prices are going to rise. It's going to be chaos. What was it the other day? That numpty Martin Lewis saying, you're going to have to choose between eating or feeding your home. Exaggeration. Threats of power cuts. Blackouts. Of course, the global warming mantra that they never shut up about. The COVID deaths. And today, petrol is going to run out. And now they are talking about, look at this, monster rats. Monster rats the size of cats appearing in your toilet bowl and biting you on the arse. Yeah, you see how crazy they are. How, it, how it's just another layer of paranoid fear pushing it onto the gullible. I mean, they must be trying to cause people to stress out or creating mass anxiety. Is that the idea? Here we see monster rats to invade UK homes via toilet warns pest expert. Giant rats the size of cats could get into UK homes, warned a pest expert, right? Look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read any more of this guff out to you, right? But it's basically a story about a rat catcher and they found a rat in someone's toilet. That's about it, you know? But hey, let's make it sound like there's gonna be a load of monster rats that's gonna take over the UK and appear in your toilet bowl, right? No difference to the nonsense with the petrol, you know? There was only a handful of petrol stations that were closed. It's no big deal, but all day people have been panicking over buying petrol because the media sensationalized deliberately the story of a few petrol stations closing in order to cause panic. I mean, what are they trying to do with the never-ending fear propaganda? I mean, there is something called psychogenic fever which is a stress-related psychosomatic disease where patients develop extremely high core body temperature when they are exposed to emotional events and chronic stress. They basically develop a fever just from being stressed out. Their body reacts as if they have a virus even though they don't have one. And this can happen to large groups of people as well. And that's called mass psychogenic illness, which means a population can exhibit illness involves the spread of illness symptoms through a population where there is no infectious agent responsible for contagion. Okay, so could, 
Could this be slowly brought on by a constant uh, fear of propaganda in the media, you know, that, that continues on for months and months and months, like we've had recently, day in, day out? I mean, look at it, it's every day. I look at the news every day, you know, to make these videos maybe, or just to see what's going on and see what games they're playing because I don't, I don't believe any of it, right? And I obviously don't buy into it. So that makes me immune. And there are many that don't watch the mainstream at all anymore, and they are doing the right thing. But there are many more who do, who sit uh, and watch six o'clock news on the button every night. They get their newspaper every morning every day these people i mean could a diet of fear propaganda over time result in stress and anxiety that would be continuous and keep building which could then result in psychogenic fever on a mass scale it's just an idea you never know it's possible it's happened in the past check out the uh, wiki page on psychogenic uh, mass illness and you can see goes back hundreds of years and talking of the mainstream media look at Australia look what they did they shut off the live streams in Victoria where they were protesting so that people couldn't see what was going on live they wanted to contain and hide what is happening this is why they are your enemy so before I play this clip if you haven't done so Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com so you can be notified of all videos when I upload them. Here's the clip. But some breaking news this hour. Media is being prevented from showing aerial pictures of the Melbourne protests and riots. Earlier today, a request came from Victoria Police Media for broadcasters to stop streaming the aerial pictures of the protests that we had yesterday. The Victorian police have now applied to put a no-fly order on the media helicopter, which supplies pictures to various outlets. It's believed the order is to last three days.